Hey what's up guys, I'm Praetorian and welcome to Strategic Mine, the Pacific. So this is a World War II turn-based strategy game. It's developed by Starney Games. Uh, they're the same developers of Panzer Strategy, uh, which we covered on the channel last year. Now where Panzer Strategy uh, focused on the European th theater, uh, this game obviously focuses on the Pacific theater. So I did a video uh, for this game, for the developers, for their Steam page. Uh, last spring uh, and that video was uh, served a little bit of a, a little bit as a tutorial uh, for the first scenario in the American campaign uh, more than anything it was supposed to be a uh, kind of an overview of the game's mechanics and so if you're looking for that if you're looking to see what the game has to offer uh, then go look that video up on my channel and I think it's like maybe 20 minutes or so uh, it's not too long in a video and it uh, it's a good overview of the of the game kind of shows, uh, you know, the different mechanics and, and some things have changed since then, by the way, because uh, that was, uh, once again, that was from like, you know, six or seven months ago. Uh, but for the most part, it's pretty up to date. Uh, but yeah, uh, I haven't played the game uh, since since I did that video. Uh, so uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to be playing as the Americans in this uh, Let's Play. However, before we get started, I'd like to mention two things. Uh, so first of all, some of you guys may recall uh, a few months ago, uh, I, was, I was talking about uh, that I'd gotten hired to do some voiceover work for a game, and then just a few weeks ago, I was I was doing that. Kind of affected our our content a little bit here on the channel, and uh, yeah, this is the game uh, that I was uh, doing the voiceover work for. So I did the the tutorial, uh, which was the longest part that I did in the game. Uh, there's quite a bit uh, to that. It's a it's a pretty in depth tutorial. I think it does a pretty good job. Uh, you know, and I'm a little bit biased because it's my voice, of course, but no, I think the, the developers did a, a pretty good job with the tutorial, kind of explaining the mechanics and, and uh, you know, showing you uh, how to play the game. Uh, so I did I did that, and then I also did the voiceover for, uh, it's like, kind of like the info, I think they call it the info, it's like the first time info, so like when you click on a, a battleship, uh, like after you clicked on a battleship like four or five times, uh, then my voice will pop up and, and tell you what a, uh, what a battleship is and and uh, what its role in the game is, and, and uh, you know some of the mechanics associated with it and stuff. Uh, so yeah, there's a, a lot of that as well. So you guys will hear that because we're not going to play the tutorial, obviously, in this this let's play. But you'll hear that uh, in the game, and and I, I'll say that it was a, a really good experience. I had fun doing it. I'm glad I got the opportunity to uh, to do that uh, for the first time. And and I don't expect myself to to be doing uh, any more voiceover work for any other games. That's probably a, a one time thing. I'm not gonna be coming a voice actor anytime soon, but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, it is is it is really odd though, uh, hearing your own voice uh, in a game as you play. Uh, so yeah, you guys will get to hear that little treat. Uh, so that was the first thing, and then the second thing is uh, to the patrons. Uh, I did mention in the finale of the last series, uh, the Hearts of Iron Four series, that British one, uh, that you guys were gonna have a a choice uh, coming up here, a vote, a poll. Uh, regarding the uh, this series here. So what I was planning on doing is I was going to play the first scenario for the American campaign and the first scenario for the Japanese campaign and then I was going to let the patrons vote for which campaign we would continue. However, today didn't exactly go the way I would have liked and uh, I'm really short on time now. Um, I, I'm actually recording this fairly late. Um, it's like 4 in the morning right now. So uh, yeah, I, I just don't have time to, to record uh, two two uh, videos right now and I got to work tomorrow so we're only going to be doing the American campaign so sorry to the patrons uh, for that uh, but yeah let's go ahead and get started uh, so again as I said we're going to be playing the uh, American campaign and uh, before we jump into it because they'll start talking here once I hit the the new game uh, we're going to be playing the challenging uh, difficulty because it, it starts uh, the default one is is one lower than that uh, but if you look at the challenging difficulty, that's the 100% AI strength and the 100% the prestige gain. Uh, so I think that's actually supposed to be like the, the actual default or the medium difficulty or whatever, even though it's called challenging. And I, I think the reason why it's not set as the default is because this is a really hard game. Uh, a lot of people find the game quite uh, quite difficult. I know I, know, uh, I would definitely say it's a, a challenging game. And so I think that's why they, they changed the setting. But we're going to try. I hope I don't regret it. We're going to try the, the challenging. Hopefully everything goes well. Uh, the game does have cutscenes. Uh, I, I think the last one had cutscenes as well. Uh, but I'll say that the, the cutscenes are, are much improved in this one. 
the voice acting is is a lot better as well. Uh, some of the voice acting was uh, not great in Panzer Strategy, as as many of you guys who watched that series would recall. But yeah, I'd say everything, just the production value period, has has stepped up a lot for this one. Obviously, I'm biased since my voice is in the game, but but I will say that uh, overall the uh, production quality is a lot higher. So when it comes to the cutscenes, they're a little bit long, uh, and I think there's one in between each scenario. So uh, post down in the comments below if you guys want to watch the cutscenes. We'll watch this first one, uh, but from from here on out with the the next uh, couple videos, uh, let me know uh, if you guys want me to skip the cutscene. Or if you guys want to watch it, because again, these are really, really long videos because they're, they're very long campaigns. And so, you know, a five minute or 10 minute uh, cutscene obviously extends the video quite a bit. So uh, post down in the comments below what you want me to do in that regard. Let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. Following the treacherous and unexpected Japanese attack at Pearl Harbor on the morning of December 7th, 1941. Greetings and good morning, Hawaii. You're listening to Radio Honolulu. Today, December the 7th, the weather is perfect, and we would like to bring this song for the listening pleasure of all U.S. military personnel on Hawaii. Hmm? Jenny, why aren't you eating? Mom, is Daddy going to leave us again today? Yes, Jenny. You know full well that he's on duty, even on Sundays. Hey, you two. I have a surprise for both of you. I took the day off so I could spend the entire day with two beautiful ladies. We get to play with Daddy today. <laughs> Don't worry. The Arizona will somehow manage without me for one whole day. This is preposterous, utterly preposterous. Our Pacific fleet has been destroyed at Pearl Harbor, clearly demonstrating an unprecedented level of complacency and incompetence in our high command. On top of all this disastrous news, our territories in the Pacific are being captured by the Japanese daily. Gentlemen, this cannot be allowed to continue. Admiral Nimitz, 
You are hereby appointed the new Commander-in-Chief of the United States Pacific Fleet. I expect you to fully engage the Japanese and put an end to this nonsense immediately. You must save our nation. Do I make myself perfectly clear? Mr. President, indeed, the situation is dire. However, I'm convinced the decisive actions will swing the balance in our favor. Mr. President, the appointment of Chester Nimitz is the best thing that you could have done to put the Japanese in their place. Together, we will protect our country from the Japanese threat. It is my direct command to you, Admiral Nimitz, that the Japanese offensive in the Pacific be completely thwarted. Yes, sir. Ernest, Chester, do not let our country down. God, it is worse than in the newspapers. Oklahoma, capsized, 429 dead. Arizona, exploded, 1177 dead. We have lost so many brave seamen, and it all happened in one hour. How many more have to die before we end this war? I hope that we can get back at those damn Japs, sir. We have to regain our strength first. Then retaliate at the right moment. And here comes my fleet. Enter. Naval Intelligence Officer Lieutenant Commander Layton, reporting for duty as ordered, sir. At ease, Lieutenant Commander. Gave me the situation report. The Japanese Carrier Task Force is I headed in a. Read the report, Layton. I am interested in the officer's mood. Not the statistics. Well, after everything that happened, sir, everyone expects to be relieved of duty. I'm also willing to take responsibility for our collective failure, sir. Who should I transfer my duties to? Sit down, Lieutenant Commander. Lieutenant Commander, I've scrutinized. The report and the attack on the Pearl Harbor. I have come to the conclusion that you and the other officers are not to blame. It could have happened to anyone. It's my sincere hope, Layton, that you and all the other men will remain in your assigned duties. America most assuredly needs you. Well, Admiral, we all we all know this is a catastrophe, sir. Our Pacific fleet is all no, destroyed. No, 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 no. I would not say that's true. Our aircraft carriers are still in good shape. So, despite the devastating blow, it's still too early for us to give up. This is especially true in your case, Layton. You have spent years in Tokyo, and you've studied the Japanese mentality and their traditions and know them better than anyone else. Your knowledge is an invaluable asset. Edwin. Let's assume that 
You are Admiral Yamamoto. What would your next move be? Well, sir... I would focus on this southern region, sir. The Japanese are in dire need of fuel. So they're going to have to occupy New Guinea. And then all the nearby islands which are rich in oil. At the same time, they should try to capture Port Moresby, which is to support any subsequent invasion of Australia. That is exactly what I have assumed as well. And that is where we're going to stub them. From the Commander-in-Chief United States Fleet, Admiral Ernest King, to the Commander-in-Chief United States Pacific Fleet, Admiral Chester Nimitz. The situation in the Pacific Theatre has deteriorated rapidly over the last four months. The Japanese have seized vast operational areas and are now on the verge of invading Australia. The Port Moresby base in New Guinea is the last obstacle in their way. Its loss would be a catastrophe for our defence in the Pacific Southwest sector. Intelligence reports a group of Japanese transport ships which are being escorted by a carrier will soon be heading to Port Moresby for a troop landing and deployment. Further be advised, two Japanese carriers left the base in Rabaul. They are assumed to have been ordered to the Coral Sea to provide air cover for the landing operation. The Southwest Sector Commander, General MacArthur, will try to hold Port Moresby at all costs. Unfortunately, his forces are insufficient to carry this out. Only the Navy can stop the Japanese. I command you to send a carrier task force to the Coral Sea to detect and destroy the Japanese invading forces. From Admiral Nimitz to Admiral King, I sent Task Force 17, including carrier Yorktown, to intercept the anticipated Japanese attack. Admiral Fletcher reports, Task Force 17 has reached the designated location. Great. Your next step will be to join forces with Task Force 11, located near the island of San Cristobal. To establish contact, your ships must arrive at the specified area. Upon uniting our fleet, locate and eliminate the Japanese forces. According to intelligence reports, the enemy is expected to attack from the north. Bear in mind that after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, every major naval vessel counts. Under no circumstances can we allow for the loss of the Yorktown. Without such a valuable combat unit, our defeat would be imminent. So as you can see, those cutscenes are quite long. That one was even longer than I thought it was going to be. What is it, like 11 or 12 minutes long? Uh, I like uh, having, having cutscenes in my strategy games. I mean, it, it ties the scenarios together with the story and stuff. But I don't need, uh, I absolutely do not need cutscenes in my strategy games. So I'm fine with skipping through those guys. Uh, if you if you want to, uh, just let me know down in the comments below because they do take up you know quite a bit of video time. So our first task here is to go ahead and combine these two task force. So let's go ahead and get that done. Where are we headed? And let's move when you have carrier over there as well. Guarding bigger vessels. And our destroyer. Conducting we have established contact with Task Force Eleven. Great. Take command of all ships. Yorktown alone would not stand a chance against the Japanese. But a joint fleet with two carriers has a good chance of winning this battle. A Japanese recon aircraft has been sighted close to our task force. It cannot be allowed to escape. I do not want to alert the Japanese high command with the advanced news of our attack. Send fighters to intercept the enemy plane. Oh no, they've seen us. All right, so we gotta destroy that. Before we do though, let's take a look at our force. Uh, so we have a uh, Colorado class battleship. We have a Northampton heavy cruiser. We have two Yorktown carriers. We have three Clemson class destroyers. And then we have our two submarines. Uh, on our aircraft that's currently on those two carriers uh, is the three Wildcat fighters, uh, two Dauntless dive bombers, and two Devastator torpedo bombers so 
that's what we've got available for us. Uh, the first task that they have uh, given to us is to take out that reconnaissance plane. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll use, we should probably use one of our core units here. And I'll let Praetorian tell you about core, core units when he pops up. Uh, so and there he is there. And non-core units. Core unit strength indicator is green and round shaped. And for non-core units, it is yellow and hexagon shaped. Non-core units allocated. The aircraft has been shot down. Great. We made sure he was not able to reveal our location. Well, that was rude. He just interrupted me. So what I was trying to tell you up there is that uh, the difference, if, if you're, you've ever played a Panzer General successor style game, then you're already aware of this. But we have core and non-core units. The core units are the green ones uh, with the green numbers and the non-core are the ones with the yellow numbers. And this is, is critically important uh, because the core units are the ones that you bring uh, from scenario to scenario. So it is absolutely imperative that you keep them alive uh, or you can find yourself in a little bit of a pickle later on when you don't have enough units to, to get the job done. Uh, while these uh, non-core units you don't, you don't bring to the next scenario. So that's the reason why we used uh, this fighter here to get that little bit of experience uh, from an easy battle uh, for our core unit. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and I think end our turn, right? Yeah, there's not really anything for us to do right now. From General MacArthur to Admiral Nimitz, my pilots spotted a group of Japanese warships heading for Tulagi Island. Apparently, they are planning to seize the island. Our garrison does not stand a chance against an attack, however, your fleet is capable of overpowering any invading forces. Now would be the perfect time for intervention. The troops on their transport ships are extremely vulnerable. You must help my men protect Tulagi. I'd rather not take the reports of MacArthur's army pilots at face value. They are not accustomed to naval operations and can give us an incorrect assessment of the situation. We have to send our reconnaissance flow plane to scout the area around Tulagi. All right, so the Japanese are sending an invasion of Tulagi Island, and we've got to locate them and destroy them. All right, so there's two ways to conduct reconnaissance. Uh, the first is to use a float plane, or I think they call it a seaplane or something like that, uh, a reconnaissance seaplane. So we can use that from our battleship. Uh, so if we click on the battleship here, where the hell is he? He's way back here. Uh, so with our battleship, uh, you'll see that he has the seaplane, and then we also have a marine squad as well, which you guys will see us use that probably a little bit later on here. So those are our two abilities. We're going to want to move him forward because I don't think he'll... I'm going to constantly be doing that. I don't think he'll be able to see, uh, send the seaplane far enough if we don't move him forward. Now that's one thing that I'm going to just run into issues with, guys. Uh, with this game because uh, just like uh, Panzer strategy, uh, the left click does do everything uh, and the right click opens up the unit screen. Just kind of messes me up um, because I'm used to like using right click to move units and left click to select. And so you're gonna see me make some mistakes because of that. I'm gonna send units, um, send units places I don't want to attack when I don't want to attack. And, uh, you know, it's just, I'm going to have some mistakes. It's just going to happen. It happened in uh, Panzer strategy, and it's going to happen in this one, guys. So I just want to make that clear. Fuel icons next to unit strength will allow you to quickly get important information about it. If unit is still able to move during the current turn, and we'll probably skip through those, actually. Yeah, uh, we, we, we got it. I think we... I think we can handle it. All right, so let's go ahead and... Uh, what were we doing? I completely forgot. Yes, that's right. Uh, we are going to move the seaplane out. Go do a bit of reconnaissance. So I know the Japanese are somewhere up here in the north. Uh, so yeah, we'll just send them out. I don't know, like right. I, I don't know exactly where they're at. Right around here somewhere. Good. Now we know for sure what's going on around Tulagi. Okay. So we have located the enemy force here, and they currently have three destroyers, uh, and then the three transport ships. So again, I uh. I, I played this scenario before, obviously I did it for that video uh, that I did, but it's been a while, guys. Uh, that, that was last spring, that was the last time I played this scenario, so I, I have an idea of where the units are at and what's going on uh, with the scenario, but yeah, I'm obviously a little bit rusty on it. Okay, so what we're going to want to do here is get these guys here dealt with. Uh, so we're going to want to move our carriers forward, we're going to be using the carriers, and then we also want to move our submarines, though I want to say the destroyers 
Let me just, I don't know how far they can move. We don't want them to attack. They can move eight. Uh, so we don't want them to build a uh, attacker submarine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we don't want to go in there. That would be a, a silly if we moved in there. Uh, they would probably end up sinking our, our uh, submarines. So let's move them over here. Oh God, I'm gonna do that every time. consist of various ship parts. All right, so we're gonna move him right there. He can stay there for right now. And this then we'll move the other submarine onto this side. And let's move all the rest of the ships up as well. Uh, so we'll get our destroyer, or excuse me, this is our heavy cruiser. Uh, we'll get the heavy cruiser moving up. And the destroyers. And then we're going to get the carriers coming up behind them so that we can we can do a bit of bombing, guys. Uh, so let's get this destroyer in there. Carriers are the main instrument of modern warfare. Just see how far they can go. Evasive maneuvering is in order. All right, and then let's get Ready this carrier moving up. This force. is our core carrier. We're always let's on move time. him up, and then let's Carriers move the other one. Main instrument of modern warfare. All right, so let's go ahead and do some attacks, guys. Uh, let's see how we want to do this. So I think we should probably take out the destroyers as, as best as possible. Uh, so that's what we're going to do with our Dauntless. Uh, and let me just see which... Aircraft okay, so this is the one that has our core units and this one has the, the non-core so we're gonna use them first I was born a pilot. and we're gonna want to we're gonna want to attack this destroyer and what we're gonna do let's uh, go over there first we're gonna go ahead and hit their anti-aircraft guns in the hope that they won't be able to fire back on us I uh, could always do an ordinary attack as well uh, we're gonna hit the anti-aircraft guns so that hopefully they won't be able to uh, fire back on our, our planes over here and of course, they're going to provide support everything and everything as well. So this guy's going to take a little bit of damage, uh, but that's okay because one, he's not a core unit, and two, the damage done by anti-aircraft guns is not lethal damage, meaning that you can repair it when it goes back to the carrier. Uh, so we're not too worried about it. We have a devastator on here, our torpedo bombers. Now, torpedo bombers do not perform well. Uh, against uh, destroyers. Uh, destroyers are, they have like a, a modifier or whatever, a trait that makes them good against torpedoes. So we will instead use these against the, uh, the troop convoys here. I like flying. It's liberating. So I'll move them over here. We might not want to hit them immediately uh, because the anti-air is still uh, usable. So yeah, let's go ahead and take board, that out sir. with our with other Dauntless. The and we'll the get hit here by him, but that's okay. Yeah, because they have two to provide. Yeah, I didn't think about that fact that they had two to provide anti-air fire. Hmm. Do we want to use our fighters against the destroyer? Probably not. No, nah, we probably won't use it. Uh, let's set the anti-air up and see if, if this is enough to destroy it. It doesn't look like we did as much damage to it as I would like that first go around. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better now. Let's take a look. Uh, at the destroyer and see unfortunately he still has the anti-air uh, he still has a little bit of HP all right but that's a bummer uh, so what do we have left to make use of plane wise so we have our wildcats we have the devastator as well all right so let's go ahead and make use of the devastator we're gonna move him well let's first see how this looks all right so we did a little bit of damage to him and let's go ahead and get the we aim for the sky. Well, Let's try the Wildcats out. How much damage do they do? They do all right damage. Well, all right, so let's make use of those then. Take it. Take it. Take it, bitch. And then we'll just uh, pull them back. <laughs> Was that a barrel? And this should kill him. Excellent. There we go. All right, so we've taken one of them out. Uh, let's not move him yet, because I don't know... Do we have any other planes? I think we have one more Devastator. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and make use of him. Alright, excellent. So, we have uh, done a pretty good job taking him out here for the first hits, uh, our first attempts. Uh, and it looks like we still have... Oh, we still have the Wildcat here. I didn't realize I still had him. Alright, well, he'll come over here and hit them. What is his success chance against? Not great. Alright, we'll just use him again troops Why am I even saying that's really all we need to destroy and I'm actually seeing there's there's in fact six uh, units here so I don't know where they're at speed. over here somewhere maybe yeah because we can't see those yet uh, so we do have the two methods of reconnaissance like I said we had the, the float plane 
And then we also have Lycan and, and uh, Panzer strategy. We have the aviation recon uh, that we can make use of as well if we wanted to, although it does require precious command points. So I think we're okay for right now. Uh, we'll, we'll eventually find them. They'll, they'll find their way into our sites, I'm sure. Uh, I think everybody has moved, right? Uh, yeah, everybody's moved. So let's go ahead and end our turn. Let's see what happens. So they're probably going to focus fire on that uh, plane, unfortunately. And yeah, if they all fire on him, it could possibly kill him. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Typically, the last kill doesn't kill him. It just puts him where he's like really low. Uh, but it didn't. It didn't uh, take him down all the way, anyways. All right, so they are bombing the forces on Tulagi, that destroyer, which means they're going to have less ability to fire here on our ships. We are, of course, going to fire on them now. They did shoot a torpedo at us, though, so that's devastating. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> so, yeah, that sucks. We shouldn't have moved him uh, that far up, apparently. It's fine, though. We did a little bit of damage to him. And okay, we're not able to locate our, our submarines, because, again, we didn't have them up close. This troop here is almost to the coast, but he's extremely weak. Uh, so even if he landed, he'd be quickly destroyed. Oh, he, he landed, yeah. Easy target, and he's destroyed. All right, so we've got to get these guys destroyed before they hit Tulagi Island, because I don't think, yeah, that guy's not going to be able to fight much, especially now that he's been hit so hard. Yeah, if we don't get these guys destroyed, uh, then they could easily take the island. All right, so they already have somebody on there. Uh, so you notice that in this turn, it is now nighttime. Uh, so during the night, all units receive a 66% attack penalty and spotting range is reduced by 50%, but not lower than one. All right, so that's the reason why we can't see any of these units now. Uh, they're all just uh, question marks to the ships. So, so let's go and get moving in. Can we attack? And let's see if we can't. And I hate trying to move under them. It's never, never easy to do. I guess we can move this guy in. Is that a troop or is that a destroyer? I don't actually know. We, what we might do is go ahead and make use of... Let's take a look. Where is he at? I think we might go ahead and... Well, we can only use him three times in battle. So probably don't want to use him right now. We might use our, our submarines as a scout. We'll use uh, this guy and see how it goes. Also, you notice the red boxes here. That means we wouldn't get any supply there. Hmm. All right. That's fine. Damn it, I'm gonna do that every hey, damn time. You notice me. All right, so these are all destroyers. Okay, so these are the destroyers we're looking for. Um, we're not gonna mess with them with our submarine, obviously. Underwater we glide. Let's go ahead and start moving after the, the enemy. The enemy troops. Yes, all right, so we'll move them over there and uh, we'll just use our ships here to take out the destroyers. We need to find, we need to locate the damn the damn troops here because as of right now, we don't know where three of them are. Uh, I have no idea where they're at. I assume they're over here somewhere, and we just can't see them. Uh, but let's go and take out these guys. Uh, we will make use of our... Oh, well, do we want to do our battleship first? Yeah, I guess we'll use our battleship first. It probably would make the most sense. Uh, he could do the most damage, and we could probably hit him where they can't hit us. Uh, yeah, we can do it from right here. And then I don't think they would be able to hit us. But we might need to move a little bit closer if we want to use all of our guns. So let's take a look. Uh, gun range 4. So we're sitting at one, so if we wanted to be able to fire on like, say that guy there, one, two, three, four. So we need to move right here to be able to fire on him. What we'll do is use our longer range guns for the farther away one, and then one, two, three, four, move right here. You can expect a time All right, so let's go ahead and fire on these guys here. Uh, we're not gonna do as much damage against him because we can't see him. So let's instead fire on him. And we should be able to fire twice. We didn't do as much damage I would like to the hole, uh, but their guns are now in a terrible position. His engine's all messed up. Yeah. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and fire on the other destroyer that we can actually hit. He will be able to uh, fire back on us, of course. His guns don't, don't do significant damage to us. All right, so we have our destroyers. Uh, we still have our heavy cruiser that can fire as well. So let's go ahead and make use of him, try and take these guys out. In fact, we might want to fire on him because, uh, well, we have troops, that, we have uh, planes that can do that. Now nah, we'll use uh, we'll use the cruiser against these guys here. It's a bummer we can't see them. Yeah, it's a real shame that we can't see them because of the night. Uh, so 
I almost want to use the scout guy, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna refrain from using it. Uh, I don't think that would be wise. All right, so let's go ahead and, and uh, get the... God, we gotta find these planes here, man. Or these uh, these troops here. I have no idea where they're at. That's a shame. All, All right, uh, so uh, these guys can fire. Um, but we'll we wait to fire. Uh, let's instead use the heavy cruiser first. World. Let's see, let's use them against him. And let's get through these here. All right, did a little bit of damage to him. Let's just take a look at how he's doing. And he's in a, a bad spot. He can't even move right now. His engine is in a really bad spot, but he, he does have guns still. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit him one more time. And now he shouldn't be able to provide any any fire here. He's in a very weak position, so we might go ahead and make use of uh, one of our planes to take care of him. Let's go ahead and let's fire on this guy. Alright, not enough to destroy him, unfortunately. Ho, ho, a of they can't fire the torpedoes from here, I don't think. I'm not entirely sure how far the torpedoes go, um, but I don't think they'll be able to fire anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and make use of uh, the auxiliary destroyer first. Searching for enemy subs. And I guess we'll wait to, to do that. Let's go ahead and make use of our, our uh, all of our planes up here first and see what we can get done. So these guys do need to go back home. They're in such a terrible position, guys. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and put them back onto the carrier and let's move them to this one, I suppose. Uh, no hurry at all. Just over 200 miles an hour. And he should repair up a little bit of the damage that he took. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Uh, we will probably want to make use of our resident. <laughs> we are higher. Hmm. Where is our other dive bomber? Oh, here he is. Uh, so we'll probably want to make use of him on uh, the 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 unit here because they're gonna take the island if we don't. Bombed some guys. <laughs> and now it's time for All right. So did a little bit of damage to him. Not much. Uh, we're also going to make use of our fighters for the same thing here, uh, and they're almost out of ammunition. We can land them here as well, um, which I think is what we're going to do. Yeah, we might land there. And then let's make use of the other Wildcat here as well. Oh, here, here's the uh, airbase. Excuse me. We keep the skies clean. And last wildcat. I wonder if he can do any damage. Probably not. I'll just keep on hitting the, the infantry. Try and do as much damage to him as possible. Uh, we have depleted perhaps his... Yeah, I think we might have depleted all his ammunition. I'm entirely sure. Uh, he shouldn't have supply here, though. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else we got here. So we got our, our torpedo bombers, and we're gonna have to use them against the destroyers, man. I don't know how well they're gonna perform, though. Probably not well. But it doesn't look like they're gonna be able to attack us back, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, they were able to. Nah, just us. All right, that barely did anything. All right, that didn't do anything. Uh, again, torpedoes just don't perform well against the destroyers, unfortunately. We need to find the damn planes here, so what I'm gonna do, guys, is we're just gonna, like, just move over there and I'm just trying to find them, but yeah, we did not find them. All right, so let's go ahead and make use of the destroyers then and see if we can't get these guys here to uh, destroy it. Yeah, we did not do enough damage to these guys. And nothing there. See if our main guns can take him out. All right, he's just about dead. Uh, let's go ahead and finish him off with one of our core units, if I can. Doesn't look like I'll be able to. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's gonna be a possibility. All right, we'll just come with this guy then. All right, and then let's move this destroyer up here. And we can actually see him now, awesome. That would've been really helpful to have before. All right. Is in order. We fight. So we use our torpedoes against them. I should have turned the torpedoes off, honestly. Oh, it looks like they did do a little bit of damage to him. All right, that might kill him. Nope, not quite. Your trust All right, that's a shame. I think we're gonna try and kill this guy here. 
All right, so that took him out. Uh, we could, of course, uh, use our torpedoes against him. I don't really see any reason to do that, though, guys. Yeah, I don't think I want to use the torpedo against him. We'll save him because we only have four, four torpedoes. Uh, so we won't use the torpedo. I want to say everybody's moved except for... This guy still have... Yeah, he still have movement points. Uh, so we could move him up here to see if there's anything. You know, we probably should move him up here to, move. to destroy any uh, troops that might be coming. All systems are go. All right, so we have our carriers as well that can attack. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like they do, do very favorably against them, so we won't make use of them for that. Uh, let's instead we have an island on board, sir. Move him right there, and I think that's going to be it. We'll leave our our main carrier here, and I believe that's everybody. So it didn't quite go as well as I would have liked uh, as far as yeah, the units that we destroyed here. I'm a little bit worried about how this is going to go with with the attack there. It doesn't look like it's going to go well. Yeah, they're able to seize the island now. Damn it. So once we get them destroyed, I don't know if we'll be able to... Uh, I mean, they don't really have the island just yet, but... Yeah, we should have prioritized destroying him a little bit more. But I wanted to get the the ships destroyed. The Japanese main. Okay, so more Tulagi invasion troops apparently. Uh, I guess we've destroyed four so far. So there's only two left, uh, which we know where one of them is, and he's right there. So let's see if we can't get him destroyed. Uh, let's let's first take out this destroyer uh, try and get him wrapped up. Um, how are we going to want to do this? The best way to do this would be, so we don't take any damage, uh, would be to move him so that he's no longer within range of him. And I think it was four, right? Yeah. And then we could also then fire with our, our smaller guns uh, on the, the unit there. So one, two, three, four. So if we moved like right here, but let's just we'll move the carrier a bit. Battle. Can he fire on him? He can. All right, we'll move the carrier then. Yes, sir. And make use of him. Fire. Do a little, little bit of damage to him. It looks like we didn't do any damage to him. Instead, we this just damaged the air base. All right. Uh, so yeah, we want to move the battleship right here so that we can fire on the destroyer without taking any return fire. And then we'll use our smaller guns against the infantry unit there. All right, so that's it. That's all we got, guys. So we could move. Can we fire from, I think we can fire from here. Um, we might be able to fire from right here too. Let's take a look. Yeah. And I think we'll he's about dead. Flight, sir. There we go. All right, so we destroyed him without having to use our planes. So I'm hoping that I can locate the rest of the, that last unit. I don't know where the hell he's at. <laughs> he's somewhere around here. Uh, is it? Is it this ship? Is it this not? Okay, you know what? This is probably not units. This is probably just ships. Uh, total, total units, I mean. Uh, it's not land units. Uh, so once we destroy this, I think that'll count. All right, so uh, let's take a look here. What we want to make use of to destroy that. Who we want to get the experience to. Let's attack with this guy first. He does want to use the torpedo, which I don't want him to use the torpedo. He might be able to kill him in one hit. Yeah, let's try it. He did uh, shoot his torpedoes at us. Which did nothing to us. All right, so let's go and fire on him again. Just trying to get this experience for our core unit here. All right, excellent. It's safe. Well done. For the first time during this war, our Navy gave the Japanese their due. I hope that we will build on this victory. All right, so we now have 980 experience. I don't know if we have enough to buy anything. Um, uh, uh, Heroes is another thing that's new to this, or it wasn't in, pretty sure it wasn't ever in Panzer strategy. It wasn't in it when we were playing. So we can uh, buy a new unit, or we could get new equipment for our ships. That's an option as well. I want to say that he is in range here where he could uh, upgrade his equipment if he wanted to. Yeah, we could. So we already have an enlarged hangar, so that lets us have, I think, four planes? I think it lets us have four. I might be wrong. I think the base is three. What other uh, things do we have here? Uh, camouflage, but that can only be installed between operations. Uh, and then enlarged storage so that we have more ammunition and fuel, but again, that can only be installed within uh, in between the operations as well, so basically he can't do anything there. 
Okay, but that's fine. I want to say the battleship has stuff that he can do, though. Like, maybe get some anti-armor or something like that? Yeah. Uh, so, we ended up not needing to use the planes hardly at all. Uh, so, let's go ahead and put them back onto their uh, carriers. But first, we'll move the we'll move the submarines. Yes. Let's see if we can't find the enemy here, guys. Uh, so, we'll make use of this submarine here to see if we can't find the enemy, which is coming from right here. So, they'll be going down this strip here. So, we're going to make use of our submarines to scout them out and see if we can't find those two carriers and their escorts. All right. Uh, so, I think everybody's moved. Do have the destroyer that can go ahead and move. Move them over here. I don't know if the enemy has any submarines. So to protect our capital ships, make sure that we have a destroyer there. Kind of screening them. Uh, we'll move uh, this destroyer as well. I am curious. I almost want to move him here. Because I'm kind of curious to see if we can get any upgrades for him. Let's try. Let's take a look. I've got prestige in my pocket. Burning a hole in my pocket. I'm going to spend it. So uh, smoke generator. Uh, which can also only be installed uh, during or in between operations. Uh, you can get... Uh, a new torpedo, which increases the naval attack. All right, well that's interesting. Um, I'm almost, I'm kind of tempted to get that. Is that our, yeah, that is our core destroyer. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to get it, but that does take up one of the equipment slots, uh, which, as you guys can see here, we only have, we only have two. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if I want to use it for that or for the camouflage. This defense would be really, really nice. The smoke generator, I like that. Uh, upon activation, this unit cannot attack until the start of its next turn, but gains a large bonus to its defense. It can be activated automatically if the unit receives damage that reduces... Okay, interesting. So yeah, that seems pretty useful to have. Uh, even better than than the camouflage. Um, I, I think what we'll probably get here is smoke generating torpedoes, so why not? Let's throw torpedoes on there. Uh, wow, that's expensive. Hmm. Yeah, that's a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. Is that our... I think that's our only core destroyer. Now we have one here as well. I say let's do it, guys. Let's give them something special. Uh, that's a that is a lot higher naval attack. So let's go ahead and acquire that. All right. So now they have better torpedoes. All right. Excellent. So who else did needs to move? I know that we need to get all our planes moved. Uh, let's go and get those going now. Uh, no hurry at all. I don't know how we seize control of this airbase, which is important for us to seize. Um, yeah, I don't know if we can if we can do that. There's no troops here to do it. Uh, I know that we have the Marines, but I think they can only seize like the ports. I, I want to say that we can't. Oh God damn it! I didn't mean to do that. Again, uh, that's just the problems, man. We're gonna have. Uh, let's see. Can I? Nah, there's no suitable hexes. Yeah, so can't can't use them here. I want to say you can only use them on the ports. Uh, I could be wrong with that. Alright, well, I <laughs> think we can still ours. land, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get all these guys landed. Get all of our planes landed since there's no more enemy. Yeah, I was thinking there's more more out there that I didn't know about. Your aircraft is running out of fuel. Yep, I know. He's almost out of fuel. And... Just get all of them placed on their carriers. Try and keep. I'll try and keep the core units on the the Let's core carrier, but yeah, I don't know how well this will this will work because uh, I think we've actually already ran out of space, didn't we? At your disposal. You don't need yeah, we already have, have three carriers. here, uh, but we do have the enlarged. Let's just take a look, guys. Let's see how many we can get. Uh, we can only get three because he does not have the enlarged. So it's just we what is it? Just just this one? Yeah, just this one has the enlarged deck, so he can get the four. And figure. We'll for the best. Let's go and land him. And do we have any ships? I haven't moved. I know we got all our planes. Let's just take a look and see if we got any ships that haven't moved yet. Looks like we have the Clemson class destroyer it hasn't moved yet. So let's go and get him moving. And I want to say, oh yes, the heavy cruiser also needs to move. You can expect. Let's bring him in. Uh, and can I? Is bombing that like helpful? I don't know. I mean, it just will stop them from being able to land on it, but yeah, it's not going to seize it for us. Hmm. Yeah, probably not all that useful for us right now, guys. So we won't uh, bother with it. All right, so I guess everybody's moved. Let's go and enter turn. All right, and here comes the enemy Air Force. And they are, of course, going to bomb our 
destroyer. We did provide some support, or excuse me, not a destroyer, our, uh, our uh, battleship. Yeah, so they are focusing their fire on the battleship, as expected. And the carrier. All of our planes, unfortunately, are on the decks right now. So we were not able to provide any support. It's such a bummer that, that of all the planes that got moved here, of course it's going to not be the... Or they got stuck here with... It's not going to be the fighter. Alright, so I'm, I'm waiting for the... The dialogue here, but I'm not hearing anything. Uh, Sir, according to the radio interception, enemy carriers are preparing to launch an air attack on our ships. Transport ship uh, Neosho and destroyer Sims bound for Port Moresby. The Japanese mistakenly identified them as a carrier and a cruiser. Oh, so they're going after those. We must protect. I couldn't agree more. Nonetheless, I have to point out that sending carrier based aviation against Neosho and Sims would temporarily leave the Japanese carriers helpless. It would be the perfect moment for us to take out the enemy carriers. Okay, so we have some allied ships here, transport ship and a destroyer, and they think that it's a carrier and a cruiser. Okay. Well, let's get, you know, this is how we're gonna start this, uh, taking out these damn planes. Let's see what all they have here. Uh, they have dive bomber, uh, a dive bomber, torpedo bomber, and, everything's so hectic. Hold up. And a torpedo bomber. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these uh, all these planes taken out here. With our, more than likely our fighters, we can also use the anti-air too. We'll probably start with the anti-air. Mobile airfield at your disposal. Trying to do as much damage as we can to these with the anti-air. We'll put them to flight, sir. Got them on the run. All right, so I don't know that he can destroy him. When he's like that, I'm not entirely sure if the anti- I think the anti-air might be able to destroy him when he's at zero. Uh, yeah, he probably could. What we might want to do is use our, our battleship though instead. There we go. Alright, so we use the battleship anti-air against him. This was actually not a smart decision on their part. What they needed to do was combine their naval and air force to take out our navy, but now we're able to take out their air force and their navy is not going to have any air support. Well, they might have some air support, but uh, not enough. Uh, not nearly enough. Can we just stay away and launch planes? And yeah, we'll hit this guy we again. Stay away and launch planes? All right, we'll so let's go ahead and make use this of battle. this carrier's anti-air. And again, I, I think we won't kill him. And I, I might have actually hit the wrong one. You oh, God damn it. I swear, man. <laughs> it's so hard. We prefer to keep our distance. Got them All right, so we have demoralized run. him. Uh, we could destroy him, and I guess we'll we will. Them to flight, sir. We still have our our fighters. And let's. Can we just stay away and launch planes? All right, and we also have the destroyers. To fire on them with their anti-air. A little bit of damage here. We're just kind of spread the love around a little bit. <laughs> so. Uh, we also have this guy as well. I think he can hit both of them. And... One more time. Alright, excellent. So I don't know if we want to use our destroyers here, bring them over there yet. Uh, let's take a look and see how the fighters do against them. If they destroy them, then there's absolutely no reason for us to, uh, to do that. Let's go ahead and land this guy on this carrier. Uh, cause yeah, he needs to, to land. A torpedo bomber and let's get our fighters off uh, remember we have the three wildcats uh, we're gonna use our our core wildcat and he's very motivated for this battle there we go got him a bit of experience and let's use the other wildcats yeah I don't think we'll have to use our our destroyers to take these guys out I think they that uh the, the uh, fighter should be able to do it. <laughs> Was that a barrel roll? All right, so let's go and fire on these guys. And we might kill him. Not quite. All right, that's okay. We live to fly. Let's bring the last fighter in. Get him uh, knocked out of the skies. All right, excellent. So again, I, we can't seize that, unfortunately. We don't have any troops for seizing that, so that's that's a bummer that they're able to get that from us. It's kind of a shame, but nothing to be done about it. They didn't get the main area, they just got the airbase. But again, having that airbase is helpful. 
All right, so let's go ahead and make use of our submarines to try and locate the enemy fleet. Let's see if we can't find them. Oh, nice. There's somebody. We got a plane here. Fighter? Yes, a fighter plane. You can see us. Okay, uh, so still looking for the enemy here. Let's go like one at a time since he is capable of doing it, and there they are. There they are, guys. So we can fire on the carriers and then like dip out, which is exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, let's see if he can get over here, he can. All right, lovely. So yeah, we're gonna fire on this carrier. Or maybe we'll do that one. Let me just take a look and see if there's any difference uh, between these two carriers. Uh, so they have the Shokaku class. And I'm not noticing anything that would suggest, oh yes, that's a much crappier one. All right, so yeah, we're probably gonna wanna take out this one first then. We will shaft that torpedo up there. So we'll hit him with the torpedo. And then what we're going to want to do is pull back now. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, there, man. All right, and then we want to keep these guys apart if we can. I wonder if... Let me just take a look here. Probably want to go here and then see if we can go back. Probably not going to be able to get very far away. Oh, damn. That's not going to work. Shit. All right. Well, luckily, this is not the core submarine. Didn't expect that, bastards. But he's probably gonna get caught up next turn. Uh, he did not get far enough away, unfortunately. All right. So uh, let's go ahead. And do we want to start attacking now? Uh, do, are we able to? Do we have a uh, ability to to do any significant damage to him? Yeah, hey, our battleship's not going to be able to do much here. Let me see where they're at right now. Okay, so they're right here. We'll have the battleship move around this side. And we're going to want to provide some coverage here. Uh, but what we really need to do is go ahead and make use of the float plane to see what all they have here. Uh, we could have done more damage if we would have used the float plane first. Probably should have. Let's send him right here see what all they got all right so now we can see those uh but yeah we should have uh we should have used that beforehand uh so that we could have uh done a bit more damage uh, because we would have uh because we had identified them so should have did that first but whatever it is what it is nothing to be done about it now uh and there are a couple fighters here but that is it i think they used all their bombers so they are going to be in a bad spot now all right so let's go ahead and move our heavy cruiser up and does he have, let me just take a look real quick, guys. So where's his range? So he can hit with five gun range. Well, this is four gun range. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do, if we don't wanna get hit back by the destroyer, if we wanted to take the destroyer out first, I mean, uh, is go ahead and make sure that we're exactly five away. So one, two, three, four, so five. That looks about right. Where are we headed? So we're going to use all of our... Oh, nope, that wasn't... With that much fire, Damn it. We can sink the whole country. Oh, I have the wrong gun selected. There we go. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, try and get that destroyer wiped out so we can't mess with our damn submarines. Because those submarines can tear these carriers up, especially now that they can see them. But not if he gets destroyed. All right. So that's all we're going to be able to do, guys. Uh, because, yeah, this gun is not... Uh, it doesn't have the range. And... Yeah, I can't hit him with anti-air either for that fighter. All right, so let's go ahead and keep on moving in. Uh, I wonder if we can hit... Nope, we can't hit him. Can hit him, though. So we might move that... No, nope, we don't want to move that destroyer in. We should move in one of these other destroyers. Uh, one of our uh, non-core destroyers. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's move him in. And I'm trying, I'm trying to take him out, or at the very least... Get him so he has like no ability to attack, which that looks like that's the case. He won't be able to do anything. Uh, and then we have our, our uh, planes, but we can't really make use of those because we can't give them uh, fighter support, unfortunately. So the planes are, are going to be stuck on the carriers for right now, since we just can't uh, can't do anything with them right now. All right, so let's take a look. We'll probably get the carriers back as well. Uh, let's see which one we want to send here. So we could send him in to fire on. Either one of those, really. We are the one, two, three, four. We'll put them here. 
Let's see if we can't get that destroyer taken out. I can't hit anything else here. Alright, so one destroyer knocked out. Let's go ahead and bring the next destroyer in well, as far as we can because I'd love to be able to try and hit this fighter, which we cannot, unfortunately. Uh, and we can fire on him without taking any damage, uh, but not the, the larger carrier, so that's what we'll do. Alright, excellent. Did a little bit of damage to him. And let's get our carriers moving a little bit forward, but not too far forward. Uh, there's no reason for all that. Yes, sir. Again, not able to provide air support right now because of the lack of fighter support because we used all our fighters to take out the bombers. Sky. But that's that's fine. We'll use them next turn. Uh, though the fighters might not be able to reach over there. Uh, yeah, hopefully the destroyer anti-air can, can do the trick. Uh, so we have the Yorktown here, so let's go ahead and move him. We want to keep him do kind of really far back. Go through all, that again? all right, so I'm pretty sure... We are done with our turn, guys. I'm not seeing anything else. Uh, yeah, because I think it, it looks like these guys can move, but they can just move one spot here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and end our turn. Make sure there's no HQ skills. Trying to click on this. Oh, okay, it's right here. That's right. The damn Colorado class is our, our HQ. My bad. Uh, so, yeah, we don't have anything. Wasn't sure. Let's end our turn. So we have, we'll have five turns left in order to get the best victory. It looks like their their fighters have landed. They chose to land. The carriers are taking off. We might lose that one. Okay, we still know where he is. Excellent. The destroyer is going with the larger carrier to provide continue to provide escort support. Fighter has come back out so that we can't bomb him. And the, it looks like the fighter's leaving. Aircraft units heavy losses. And they're gonna destroy. That's fine. They can destroy the. Yeah, I'm absolutely fine with that. They did fire on the core destroyer, unfortunately. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, he took a lot of damage too. Damn. All right. All right. So we're just gonna skip through the allies here. And back at night. So again, it's gonna be hard to detect the enemy and we're gonna do less damage. All right, well, let's go ahead and, and that also, we have that advantage of with our submarines too. Uh, so, God, I don't remember which one it was. Shit. I think it's that one. So let's go behind him. Will there be enemy cargo ships? Yes, was him. Now we can't see him. Maybe we want to wait to fire on him until perhaps we're actually able to locate him. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's make use of our command points, guys, to try and uh, identify these guys. Um, to just make sure that we get that that bonus. Verifying the enemy's location. There we go. Excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and fire on him. We did get a shell hole. Excellent. So shell hole does reduce their movement and defense. Uh, well, it reduces their maximum movement and the maximum movement increases defense. So uh, it reduces both of those. And then also a shell hole will uh, tick down their HP, their their whole HP by one at the end of the turn. Uh, so they'll go down to nine once the turn ends. Um, so let's get them out of there now. Although, do we want to go that way? Probably not. Oh, we will go that way. Let's see if there's anything over there. All right, so this carrier here, are the elite of the Navy. we could go ahead and start taking him out, but he's really easy to take out because, yeah, he can't defend himself properly. So, yeah, I would prefer to use this guy, though. That would result and I think, him moving all, using all his movement points. So what we might want to do is have him move here like a huge fishy. so that we can get out of there. Estimated lifetime of the enemy vessel is and another shell hole. Excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and get him moving out of there now so those destroyers can't tear him up. All right, so where did that fighter go? He's not providing coverage. So we are gonna be able to, yeah, we're gonna be able to rip those guys up now because they have no fighter support. Uh, this carrier on the ha other hand does have fighter support, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we've got something for that. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, let's see here. Let's go ahead and make use of this destroyer right here. Let me see where we wanna use them actually. No, 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 we're not gonna do that. Let's do something different, guys. Let's move this destroyer. He can't fire back. Hmm. All right, let's fire on him. 
try and do as much damage as we can. We haven't used our torpedoes yet on them. So we're going to get up nice and close and use our torpedo on him and our anti-air on him. And again, we are not doing as much damage as we could do because we can't see them. Let's use the torpedoes. Remember, we had the better torpedoes and we have sunk them. Excellent. All right. Uh, so one carrier down. Uh, we only need one more sunk. Uh, other objectives. Hold Port Moresby, which is, you know, over here. Uh, that's not going to be a problem. Uh, I think they have more ships, though, after this, if I recall correctly. Uh, carry Yorktown. Yeah, we got that. And then we have to make sure that they safely reach Port Moresby. That should be okay. We should be all right on that. Uh, we haven't used our battleships yet, so we can go and make sure that he comes over here and takes out him. And best way to do that would be yeah, probably just close in so we can make sure that we use all of our guns on them. Yeah, probably be the best way to do this. And we take him out, then we don't have to worry about them providing anti-air support either. So that's another thing to consider. Yeah, I think that's the best way we'll do it. Guys. The, the best way to do it. So he can fire four. I remember that ours is. Oh, looks like we are having some problems here. Some of our. Uh, oh, because of the nighttime. Okay, that's right. We have six gun range and four. So if we want to use that, then we will have to close in to within range for him to fire back on us. Unfortunately, but I think he can't really penetrate us all that well. So I think it's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and, and, and get all the way in there. You can expect a timely arrival. And he has still hasn't identified us either, so you can see he either. So he's not doing like any damage against us. And uh, we weren't even using our big guns. And yeah, we should have used those first. All right. So let's see if we can't get the destroyer taken out. Pretty damn close. I almost want to use this here, but you know what? We've got plenty of bombers that can take care of him, I think. And we have two shots, so... Hopefully that kills him. Not quite. Alright, but this is unfortunate. And that was our, our both of our shots, never mind. Alright, uh, so that's fine. Uh, so let's see, what else do we got here? That we can uh, try, and, uh, try and get these guys sunk. Uh, so we have our destroyer. He could probably take him out, and I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, bring him over here to take him out, and we're going to want to get close enough where we can use our torpedoes against him. But doing that right there would allow him to use his torpedo against us, so let's move here instead. Take him out. Or try to take him out anyway. And then we'll shoot the torpedo at the carrier. Time for the reckoning. Uh, torpedoes. Oh, he was able to fire on us, though. But that should uh, mess him up pretty bad. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. All right, let's see what else we got here. So we haven't moved the Northampton yet. Uh, I want to put him in a place where he can fire both on the anti-air and fire on the carrier, though. You know what? We haven't used any of our... We had been pilots before we were born. Hmm. And we haven't used any of our bombers yet, so we should probably make use of those. Uh, I think that'd be our wise to take him out, uh, not get any more damage to our ships. Uh, yeah, so that's what we'll do. Uh, let's see what we have here. So we have one Dauntless on here. I don't want to use the... I prefer not to use the dive bomber. I prefer to use the torpedo bombers. I think they'd do the best job at this. So let's make use of this torpedo bomber. Uh, and he's going to fire on us, that's fine. There we go, nice. And then we, we will use sky. our Dauntless. Or excuse me, our Devastator. We have an island yeah. on board, let's sir. make use of our core I'll Devastator. Model in my sleep. Uh, sound of and bombs. see what it's we can do here. I am I think he might sink. I don't know, I think he could end up sinking here at the end of the turn. I don't think we need to fire on him anymore, actually. Yeah, he might. Yeah, he might sink. I'm not sure if he'll be able to fire on us, though, so that's something to consider. Might just want to get him sunk. It might just be easier to do it that way. Uh, can he fire back on us? Did this guy already fire? Oh, that's, we have the anti-air here. 
Yeah, we might just go ahead and get the uh, heavy cruiser in there uh, to do the trick here. Uh, let's take a look and see what he's got as far as range goes. Uh, so he can fire back. He has gun range of four. Uh, so I think if we moved within five, uh, then yeah, you wouldn't be able to fire on us. So one, two, three, four, five. So that would allow us to go here or here. Uh, I think that'll be good enough as well. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So we'll go right here, and that should allow us to. Uh, we might not be close enough to the to the plane actually. Now that I think about it, we'll see. Ah, we're not. Damn it. Yeah, I should have moved them a little bit closer then in that case. Or wait a minute, maybe I picked the wrong one. My bad, guys. We can fire on him with the secondary gun. I think that's a dual purpose gun. Because, uh, yeah, it can. It's secondary gun and anti aircraft. So, yeah, it's a dual purpose. So, we can use a dual purpose on him. Uh, let's use uh, the main gun. See if we can't get this carrier sunk. There we go. Carrier sunk. From Admiral King to Admiral Nimitz. Excellent. But again, I don't think that's it, guys. I don't think that's it. It's not going to be that easy, unfortunately. Alright, so do a little bit more damage to him. We'll have to use a fighter, I think, to finish him off. Uh, what do we still have left for ships that haven't moved yet? Obviously, we have our carriers. Do we have anything else, though? I think we're going to finish him off with our, main, when, with our core fighter, our core wildcat. If he can make it over here safely, which he can. And he's still not identified, unfortunately. Now he's identified, though. All right, so we haven't done a lot of damage to him. Not as much as I would have expected at this point. Yeah, I thought we'd be able to, like, finish him off. But, yeah, that's... Yeah, we're not even close to finishing him off. All right, um, so this is a destroyer. I almost want to kind of move them back now. Uh, they've taken a lot of damage. So I think it's probably best that we, we get this guy kind of moved back a bit, just in case. And what do we have left that we haven't made use of other than those carriers? I think that's it. That's all we have left is the carriers. So we'll have to make use of, uh, yeah, we'll have to make use of our fighters here. Uh, unless we wanted to move the Yorktown to in to fire distance. on him a bit, which I'm actually fine with. And what are their range here? So that he has a gun range of one, so he has to, yeah, he has to be like right up next to him uh, to use that, that other anti-aircraft gun. But we can use this one, so we will. Where are escort ships? Right there, man. Where are or right the there. <laughs> There's that a submarine. Yeah, it's a submarine. He's frustrated. He's like, I ain't got no escort. Is no joke. Okay. Uh, so, did he use all his... Yeah, he did use all his firing. So we'll have to use a fighter to take him out, because I'm not mo moving our main carrier over there. So let's go ahead and move over to aircraft here and get one of these wildcats over there uh, to try and take him out. Uh, so just taking a look at how things are going as far as uh, fuel and stuff. And so he's not going to do well. Yeah, that was a, was a piss poor performance, man. Let's move this one in. Remember, there's still another fighter somewhere, too. I should have moved somebody over here. I should have moved one of the fighters over here to support these guys. That was not wise on my part. We have an island hmm. on board, sir. What we might want to do is move this in. Yeah, we'll just have to take the damage, I think. It's fine. That's there fine, guys. Go. Yeah, I should have moved one of these fighters. I thought I'd be able to get him destroyed, but we should have moved him back here. But I think he has to go back to the airbase here to land uh, in order to repair up. So... Is everybody moved? Yeah, just the Dauntless and the Devastators, which we don't know where any of the enemy ships are, so I think we can go ahead and enter turn, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's go ahead and enter turn. I should have checked to see if they were all on uh, carriers, restoring. Oh, here we go. Here comes the enemy. And they are going to fight him with that. Damn it. So they are going to sink him now. Or, excuse me, uh shoot him down because I didn't protect him with the fighter. So that was my bad, guys. They have located the submarines as well. They're firing on all our planes. Uh, yeah, I was not expecting their ships to come down here this quickly, guys. Uh, we are, like, not in a good position. Oh, yeah, this is, like, a, a really bad position, honestly. We might need to pull back a little bit, getting a better... Yeah, because they've, they've got us all identified. We're all spread out. And yeah, they do look like they're about to sink that destroyer there. 
And unfortunately, they will be able to repair at least some of the damage that we did to that fighter. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, that didn't go quite the way I would have liked. And so these guys, these are the ones that need to get... From General MacArthur to Admiral Nimitz. Air Reconnaissance has spotted a large group of Japanese transport ships approaching Port Moresby from the north. It looks like the landing operation is about to begin. All ships and aircraft have been engaged. We've thrown everything we have at it, and it's still not enough. I demand immediate assistance. From Admiral Nimitz to General MacArthur. Copy. He demands. MacArthur demands immediate assistance. All right, so, uh... It is so boring in here. This submarine's still undetected. So we could go ahead and, and get in there. Uh, go get some, uh, which is exactly what we're going to do. So we have a destroyer here that could be easy to take out here, but man, there are so many fighters all over the place. Uh, so yeah, we really need to get all these guys dealt with. But let's let's do the submarines first, guys. Yay, let's go ahead and see if we can't me. identify. So there's the carrier. I really want to know what's there, man, like bad. But you know what? We know we want to sink the carrier, so let's not use any more movement holes. points. Let's, leave it let's just that. get the shell hole and then move home? out of there. Uh, we have another submarine that can attack as well. Um, we'll attack from here and then once again get out of there. Like swimming. Not really. All right, and then get out, man. We probably don't want them right next to each other, but I guess we can move down. I suppose we can move this way. Like swimming. Yeah, really. we'll move that way with him. Okay, uh, so submarines have done their initial attacks against the uh, carrier. Again, we haven't identified them yet. We don't know what, they, what they're what they rocking. What we might want to go ahead and do is actually send him over there. I don't know if he can go all the way over there. Um, well, let's see what we're, we're going to do with all of our, with all of our uh, planes and ships before we do that. Because, uh, yeah, some of these guys got to get out of there, uh, like this destroyer, in a very bad spot. Now, maybe, you know, wondering... What's the point of uh, keeping him alive because he's not a core unit and just make use of him, right? Uh, and you know what? We could attack. Can we not attack him? Oh, we have the wrong thing selected. Uh, but yeah, you actually do have to pay for any units you lost. It costs you prestige. Uh, so let's fire on him. Continue the See if we can do any damage to him. Unfortunately not. Any significant damage. So let's get out of here. Let's pull back over this way. All right. So we don't want to throw our battleships into there just yet. Um, I kind of want to wait for them to come down a little bit. I'm not too worried about the attack. They've got a lot of distance to to move, so I think we'll be okay. We don't want to throw everything we have up there because. I want to say they have like a lot of a lot of ships, so I think that would end up going bad for us. We need to take out these planes. We need to get that destroyer taken out. These are the goals here for this this turn, guys. So let's get that taken care of. Now we still have four turns left. That's not a lot. That's not a lot of turns. Uh, so to get this kind of taken care of, so it's one thing to consider as well. So the Wildcat not looking good. We're gonna to want to put him onto the carrier. And are we gonna keep the carriers where they're at? We'll probably keep them where they're at for right now, I suppose. Let's go ahead and move him here and have him land. Was that a barrel roll? And then let's have the carrier attempt to take out this guy. Though I'm not entirely sure why he feels inclined to move. Oh, I have the plane still selected. My bad. Uh, he could actually come off and still do damage to him. What kind of plane are we looking at right here? A dive bomber. Okay. Mobile airfield. Well, we don't want to use him just yet. Let's weaken him up a little bit. We'll put them to flight, sir. Do a little bit of damage to him. Fire! And we can't fire four fire! times against him. Go suck a we'll weaken him quite a bit. And maybe the Wildcat can now do the damn thing? Yeah, almost. But we gotta get these fighters taken out. They're more of a threat right now, so maybe we should uh, take them out first. Alright, so we have... What, what do we have that we can send over here to, to try and take those guys out? Do we have a destroyer anywhere? Thought I had a destroyer somewhere right now. Oh, he's right here. Here we go. Oh, they've got a destroyer as well. All right, so we got to get that taken out first. Uh, so let's take the destroyer out with the battleship. Finally, we get to use our guns. Should be able to fire at him twice. And we can always move closer. 
do more damage to him. Let's just take a look and see what he's got left. He can still do a bit of damage to us. I almost want to have somebody else. Well, you know, he, he's just fine. The battleship can soak up that fire. He'll be okay. Uh, so let's bring him in. Uh, and let me just take a look at what his gun range is. Uh, looks like it's one. So we need to get like right up on these fires. Uh, excuse me, on these fighters. If we want to help support the, the Air Force. That's what we'll do. Um, need to change up to the secondary gun. See if we can't get this destroyer taken out. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. Moving right there does allow him to shoot the torpedo. Luckily, wasn't effective. Almost dead. Excellent. And let's switch over to the anti-air and uh, just try and do a little bit of damage to these fighters to help our help our air force out. No. Okay then. He's very into it. So uh, I, I can't go here yet. Because again, we haven't identified them. We don't have no idea what's over there. Uh, so that would not be wise. Um, and again, they're not great against uh, destroyers. So, uh, And he has a, a fighter here protecting him. So what we might end up doing is sending him back onto a carrier. But we'll wait, though. We don't want to use his movement points up until we know that's what we want to do. Let's make the, the use of the destroyer down here uh, to... Okay, he has a gun range of two, so he can get... He doesn't have to get too close. What does he still have available to him? His main gun. So he still has his main gun. So no matter what, we're going to take at least one hit against him. All right, but well, that's fine. Uh, really, we just want to make sure that we are able to fire on these guys. And then also moving here would allow us to provide support for the destroyer. Because, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, for the battleship. Because destroyers can provide uh, air support. Uh, or anti-air support, I should say. So he wants to use the torpedo, which I do not want to use. I want to use the main gun. Make sure that we destroy him. There we go. All right, so let's go and switch over to anti-air. Do a, a little bit more damage to these guys. I almost want to fire at least one on him just to kind of weaken him up a little bit. For our fighters. All right, so that's all we can do with him. He has already attacked. I don't really want... I don't really want to uh, move him any farther up. I, in fact, I almost want to move him back a little bit. Just because I don't know if they have any submarines. I don't remember. So I think we will move him back. Because, yeah, we have no destroyers in this vicinity. So it would probably be wise to move him back a little bit. We still have our heavy cruiser as well that we have not made use of. I did not realize that. We should have used him. Uh, so, yeah, that's a shame. Unfortunately, you cannot fire on these guys without having to use our movement points. So that's a bummer. Could make use of our anti-air, though. Uh, let me just take a look. Hold up. I had the wrong gun selected. We could fire on whatever that is. All right, so... Oh, he has seaplanes, too. I had no idea that he has seaplanes. All right. Let's go and identify these units over here, then. Oops. Okay, so here's the transports. All right, excellent. So now we know where the transport... Oh, that's a transport, too. Okay. Uh, that's good to know. I was all over here scared of all these ships over here, and they're all transports. All right, so very good to know. Um, so what we want to do now is make use of him to try and do a bit of damage here. I really want to take that guy out because he has that, that plane on there. I don't know if he has any other... I, I just don't know what he has here. Uh, so let's see. Range of four, range of five... Uh, so we're going to want to get within a range of, of four to make use of all of our guns. Let's see. What we could do... Yeah, we'd have to move pretty close. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're just going to have to move kind of close, guys. We'll use the big gun against him. Though, it might be better to, in fact, use a bomber. Yeah, I think we should use a bomber on him. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so, we have our Devastator. Um, he would not do well against him. Oh, because the anti-air. Yeah, the anti-air is still in there. Okay, uh, we could use a dive bomber to uh, reduce his anti-air coverage. Uh, let's take a look and see if I can find, find him dive bombers. Uh, so, I know that we lost... Um, we lost the Devastator, but it wasn't the core Devastator, so that's something to consider that we don't have that right now. Uh, we could use this Dauntless here on him, and yeah, I don't want to use my core. I don't want to throw him into this right now. 
I don't think that'd be wise. And it's because we still haven't identified all the, the possible ships here. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and... God, I almost really want to... This is what we're going to do, guys. I think. Let's make use of the aviation recon to see if there's anything else over here. Trying to go that way. Verifying the enemy's location. All right, there's nothing else over here. I, I could have swore there was another, sh like some more ships somewhere. All right, so I might have wasted that. All right, well, it is what it is. is no so joke. we'll use this Dauntless yeah, so hectic. and see if he can uh, do a bit of damage to him. Uh, to his, could hit the flight deck, but that, I don't think that'd be all that useful. Let me see, does that do anything? Upon landing, uh, aircraft that spend. If the flight deck has zero HP, then it will destroy it. But yeah, otherwise I don't think, uh, and we won't be able to destroy it in one. So yeah, let's just hit the anti-air up. Though, we're not gonna be able to do enough damage to it. Let's see, let's see what we can do here, guys. Cause you never know, the shot here might be enough. Our planes are the best. All right. Yeah, his shot here might be enough to reduce the anti-air so that we can bomb him without having to worry about it. Uh, so that's one option. What does this do? Oh, a little bit less damage. All right, let's use the big gun against him. Fire. It's raining hell. And see if we can damage the anti-air up. And there we go. Uh, in fact, he could have done it without the help of the the bomber. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Let me take that back. He has four health. I don't know what I'm thinking. All right, we'll hit him again then. And then he won't be able to protect himself uh, against the, the enemy. Uh, or excuse me, against our planes. <laughs> so uh, let's use these. What up, can he fire on him? He cannot, we're too far away. All right, so let's use these against their troops. Bang, bang, bang. We wanna get these taken out. Damn, we got, got him down to one. It's a shame. I feel like a destroyer could easily take him out. So I think what we'll do is use his gun against somebody else then. Alright, excellent. So that's going to be it for him. Uh, so let's see what else we've got. We we'll see. Yeah, we have our Yorktown. Yeah, I don't want to do anything with him. Uh, what do we still have there? We have planes. We have plenty of planes. Of course, we still have the Clemson class destroyer as well, uh, which we could bring over here. I don't think they have any bombers, so we could always bring him over here just to, to do some damage to those fighters, man. Uh, and we need to actually go to the anti-air. Yeah, let's see what we can do here, guys. Let's kind of spread it around a little bit. And then we'll see if our fighters can can take them out now. Uh, so we have two right, Wildcats, which are running a little bit low on ammunition. Uh, what abilities do they have? They have the Afterburner, allows them to move further and uh, have higher defenses, but it would use up their fuel as well. But the higher defenses I think would be useful uh, fighting over here. So I think that's what, exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the Afterburner. And I think you should be close enough Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, as long as we don't move too far. All right, so let's go ahead and attempt an attack against... Can I just move here and attack him? Yeah, let's just move here. With blinding speed. Uh, in fact, let's Leave actually use this guy first. Though he would not perform as well. We live to All right, how about Just attack. All right, and then we'll use this guy to make sure that we actually destroy this fighter. There we go. Excellent. So that fighter has been destroyed. Uh, as far as, oh, we do have another Wildcat. I forgot all about this guy. We'll use him to destroy that bomber uh, since he is an obvious threat. And we don't have a lot of range either because we just landed him. Yeah, he's an obvious threat to us here. Did we use him yet? Yeah, we did use all his. What about him? Did we use him yet? Yeah, we did use all his as well. All right, so nobody else can fire on him. We had been pilots before we were born. Come on, man, destroy him. Get him. There we go. All right, excellent. So that is done. Uh, let's take a look, see what we have left to, to move. Of course, we still have our carrier. Uh, we still have 
the bombers. Uh, so uh, these are the Dauntless uh, planes. And what we're going to want to do... God, I, I don't want to... see the world's harmony in the skies. I don't feel it's necessary. Let me just take a look. What's he got on anti-air? Yeah, he's done for anti-air. So yeah, it's not necessary for us to bomb him. We don't have any fighter support over here. Again, here I am not providing fighter support for my bombers. So <laughs> yeah, I don't think it would be wise uh, to send uh, core units over here right now, guys. Yeah, not when we don't have any. I mean, they wouldn't be able to destroy him, though. We'll hope for the best. Yeah, he wouldn't be able to destroy him. Screw it. Let's do it, guys. We're teaching them statistics. Forceful. I think he should be alright. And then the Devastator. Um, we're going to use him as well. And we will land him. Where can we go? I guess this is a safe spot. We'll get there in no time. In Let's try and get him as far back as possible. And I think that is it outside of the Yorktown, um, which we could move a little bit closer to the, uh, just within four range to try and fire on him, which would be one, two, three, four, right? We're always We're gonna do it, guys. We'll put them to flight, sir. I don't really want him we'll put them to flight, sir. attacking any of my bombers, but he's still strong enough he'll be able to. All right, so I think that's it. I think that's all we got. We only have four turns left as well, guys, so time is running out. They're moving the AA up, or excuse me, the, uh, um, the aircraft carrier. They are moving these uh, these troops down. We have a submarine set up to ambush them, though. So, should be able to get them destroyed. I don't know how many, how many troops they have. They have 10. Wow, okay, so that's a lot. I want to say that they have a cruiser, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm remembering correctly. There's a cruiser somewhere, a heavy cruiser. I don't know where he's at though. Let's just skip through all these guys. This, is, this video is getting really, really long. They did attack the bombers. I should have known they would. All right, and then we also are gonna get some assistance from our allies as well. All right, excellent. So a little bit more support uh, and it is raining as well, guys. Uh, so that does reduce the attack of all units by 33%, but increases their camouflage. Okay, uh, so Here's the units that we're gonna to wanna to get destroyed, but we gotta get that aircraft carrier uh, knocked out of the war, guys. We've gotta get him him sunk. Uh, so we'll I'll use our you. submarines for that. Uh, I think that would be the best thing to make use of uh, these guys for. So let's use like a huge fishy. this submarine first. And then we're gonna move him. I kinda of wanna use him to identify troops. We'll like swimming. I didn't Not see anybody really. else down there. And then we have one more carrier that we can make use of. Uh, or excuse me, one more, uh, I'm just just saying crazy stuff, guys. We have one more uh, submarine that we can use to try and get him, him sunk. I don't know if that's necessary, though. Let me just take a look and see how he's doing. He looks like he's, he's in a really bad spot right now. Yeah, he's not doing too well. I almost want to use the submarine to attempt to sink some of these... Uh, here ships and then use them to try and identify although this is our core one hmm. all right so this is what we will uh, use them then let's send up the Davy Jones locker all right see so what we did here and we sunk him excellent so he is now sunk uh, and let's go ahead and proceed to move down here since they're gonna be moving their troops this way uh, so now we need to get the two fighters that are remaining. We need to get those taken care of. That should be our priority at this point. Try and get these guys knocked out of the skies. Uh, and then we want to get all these guys sunk as well. So what do we have for, for fighters that can still fight? Um, that, that, that don't need to land, I mean. So he could. Um, what we'll do is let's make use of his AA first. And sorry about the loud vehicles going by, guys. So we have one close enough here where we can fire on him. And then use the... I mean, this this here could be used against troops, so I feel like... I feel like we should use it... Use somebody else over here on them. I mean, but we have a lot of tools, honestly. Yeah, we do have quite a bit of tools. All right, what we're gonna do is let's use the seaplane here. Pull him out, and then I'm just gonna scout over here and see what's over here. There we go, I knew it. 
Yeah, we have a destroyer, another destroyer, uh, two more transport ships there, an unknown right there, and a heavy cruiser right there. So we have got to get the heavy cruiser sunk. That that needs to be done. Uh, but he has destroyer support, uh, so that's going to be a little bit harder to do. So we're going to have to use our battleship, more than likely, uh, over there. So we're going to want to use our battleship against the... Can we fire on him? We can fire on him. Um, but I would prefer to use him against uh, the destroyer first. Uh, so let's go ahead and move move him in. Let's just see here. We'll probably go ahead and just move him all the way in here. Let me see what his, uh, his range is on his guns. He has a range of five, so I think we can hit him with the, the, the big gun without being fired back on. Uh, if we're six away. So, uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think this would be six as well. So this is where we're going to move right here. Finally, some action. We're going to use our big guns on guns the heavy cruiser so they can't fire back. Yes, we'll gun. And then use the smaller guns against... That's a bummer we can't use our hand to air though. Uh, but anyway, use our smaller guns. Uh, against the uh, the destroyer, could also take out these troops here. Yeah, let's get him taken out, or at least uh, reduced in strength a bit. All right, so got that taken care of. Let's see what else we can do now. All right, we, we might want to start moving our carriers in as well, now that we kind of have a good idea of what they have left over here. Uh, I think we're going to use this carrier here to enemy. take out these guys. Uh, let's move them in nice and close. I don't, think the they have, I don't think they have any submarines over there. We're going to pretend that they don't. Uh, so let's go ahead and use our... Uh, we'll use the anti-aircraft gun first. We'll put them to flight, sir. See what we can get done here. We're on the war path. All right. A little bit of damage, not much. And... Suck a try to take this guy out. Yeah, he's just not doing a lot of damage here. Where are escort ships? All right, well, that's what we were able to do. With that much firepower, we can sink the whole... We do have... Yeah, we don't want to use that on these guys, I don't think. We really need to get this other heavy cruiser sunk. But, uh, again, I think I'd prefer to use, like, a submarine torpedo bomber or something like that for that. Uh, so, yeah, we won't do that. How are we doing on fighters? Can I, can I take these guys out? Do I have the fighter ability to take these guys out? Where are my fighters? I think we can. I think we're going to be able to take them out. Yeah, I think we should be good to go. Uh, so this fighter needs to... We need to land with him, so that's what we'll do. And then if he gets the fuel and the ammunition and then he can still take off and fight, then we'll move him, uh, which it does look like he would be able to. But they do provide uh, a little bit of uh, support there. Yeah, we have to get one of those taken out, don't we? All right. Uh, so maybe we should use one of our... One of these ones against him then. Yeah, because two fighters next to each other do cause some serious problems. What we could also do, uh, thinking about it, we still have this destroyer here that could come in and try and fire on them as well. Uh, so he has a range of two, so we just need to get within two spots here. And then just try and get one of them destroyed. Don't think that's going to be enough. Okay, he demoralized, so now they are, are separated, so they can no longer provide support for each other. So that will allow us to uh, use our fighter to, to get him taken out. Alright, awesome. And again, I'm probably going to leave all my bombers undefended. Which is a good recipe for losing the game, man. I'm just hoping that this is, uh, uh, this is all they have. Uh, I don't actually know, though. So it's probably not wise, but... It doesn't look like he's going to do very well against them. Uh, but I don't want him to get back home, man. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking here, is that uh, letting him get back home would be would be dangerous. So yeah, I guess we will go ahead and try and do a bit of damage here. All right, almost. Uh, so we have one Wildcat left. Let's see if we can't get him shot down. I think we got pretty close. Nope, not there. All right, well, that's okay. So we're going to want to use our bombers on uh, all of the troops here. Let's see who hasn't moved yet. Yes, it is us. All right, so we still have him as well, uh, and he can come over here and probably should pro probably fire on him. Let's take a look here. All right, so what we're going to want to do is make sure that we can fire on him with the little gun. 
Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and move right here. Full steam ahead. Hopefully that heavy cruiser doesn't attack us. We're not looking to fight the heavy cruiser with this guy. So yeah, we'll hit him with the bigger gun first. Hell. Just trying to get that destroyer taken out. So that... Oh, fuck. I thought I had... Alright, well, whatever. It's fine, guys. We will use this on the troops. It's raining hell. Now we'll just get these troops taken out. Well, at least we have an insignia. Uh, we still have our destroyer as well. And I think we'll use him to try and take out that destroyer right there. Uh, though this is our better destroyer. Our core destroyer, I should say. So that's something to consider, uh, whether we want to move them up like that. Could use the carrier to take these guys out, so. and I think that's exactly what we will do. This is our core carrier. Do we really have to go through all that again? And I could have moved them up closer to attack the plane, but it's fine. Or I mean, obviously, there's no Fire! choice of that right now. They went to their all right, so we've taken out these troops. We currently have player, four of ten sir. destroyed right now. All right, excellent news. Uh, we still have our destroyer that hasn't moved yet. Let's just take a look and see what all, all we have. Uh, so we have two destroyers uh, that have not moved. Of course, this one here is is fairly damaged. Um, so we'll just attack from, from far. And uh, hit him up as well. All right, so they got half of the invasion force destroyed. Uh, and then, of course, we have this destroyer as well, which... Uh, again, I do think it would probably be a, a wiser move to use him against the destroyer. Try and get him taken out. Let's take a look here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to use our... Yeah, we won't use our uh, torpedoes. That's fine. As we go. We'll just attack him with a rain gun. They want to See what kind of damage we can do to him? Yeah, I did a little bit. Okay. So he's... uh. He's pretty weak. He's not going to be able to do much. Uh, let's take a look at our planes. That's all we have left. Uh, so, of course, we have the Wildcat here, and he could land. He does need ammunition, so might as well land. Uh, yeah, might as well have him land there. That worked out nicely. Uh, then we have... still have the fighter here. That's a problem. Uh, so, as far as bombers go, uh, right now, this guy is not looking good, and he's a core unit, so let's get him out of here. Uh, let's go ahead and put him onto our carrier, where the hell the main carrier is. That's what we're looking for. Here it is. I hope there'll be no enemy fighters. Let's land him, because, uh, yeah, he, he needed a little bit more strength. That did tick him up some, so that's going to be helpful. Uh, we could use him to attack, but I kind of want to get these, these fighters dealt with. I don't want to get hit by another fighter. I want to see if there's any more. Uh, I don't want to put that core unit out right now, so we'll just let him sit there for a little while. It's fine. Uh, so what do we have left? Uh, so we've got we've got one dive bomber here that's looking fairly weak, and yeah, he would still have to deal with. Although it doesn't look like he has any anti-aircraft coverage right now, could have him bomb right there. I think that's what we'll do actually. Just take the risk. You think all hell's breaking loose? Nah. Get that unit destroyed. We'll get there in no time. And then we have one dive bomber re remaining, and this is our core unit dive bomber. And I think we should use them against the destroyer, try and take them out. I wish I knew what that was, uh, but it's fine. Uh, so we're going to just probably do an ordinary attack here. Um, yeah, I think we'll just do an ordinary attack. You think attack. all hell's breaking loose? Nah. Just up. And there we go. I like flying. He has no it's ability to use his anti-air now, uh, so we don't have to worry about that any longer. It does heal up, though, of course. Uh, so I think that's it. I think we're done uh, for this turn. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes, that's right. We told him, we said we were going to let him sit and wait. So let's end our turn. We only got three turns left, guys. We have to destroy four more of those troop... Ah, oh, damn, he did get to shoot us. We have to destroy four more of those troop carriers, or troop uh, convoys. They did decide to attack him. I thought they might do that shit. I knew it was a risk, but I took the risk. Um, and then the destroyer will be able to fire on him now kind of a shame if he decides to uh don't actually know what he's doing i think he's going to uh, launch a torpedo at our carrier he's looking for submarines as well he's covering for his heavy cruiser they're going to try and sink that carrier uh which we cannot allow uh we're gonna have to get that carrier out of there yeah he's doing a bunch of damage to that carrier Ooh, yeah that's not good 
Trying to shoot down that plane as well. What is that? Okay, that is a troop convoy. They might not have any other ships. It might just be those four troop convoys, which we have identified three, and I think that's the fourth one. There we go. All right, so we now know where all the troop convoys are. We know where all their ships are, and uh, I think that's it. We should be able to get them knocked out here. So the point of this turn is, one, to end the turn, uh, or excuse me, to end the match. I'm going to try and end it here. Um, but before we end it, we're going to want to take out as many troops as possible. We are going to get some support from our allies, which we're just going to let them uh, do their thing, which they might actually destroy that fighter for us. All right, so that's been dealt with. All right, lovely. So we are at night now, and it's raining. Although the rain might be dissipating now. Yeah, the rain is has stopped. All right, man, this is like a stupidly long video, guys. Um, so we know these are the transports. Uh, we know we have the, we still have the heavy cruiser and I wanna take it out. I wanna destroy it. We have a destroyer as well that we need to get, get dealt with. And then after that, we're done. Uh, so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to take him out. Um, and we need to be, hmm. We need to be far enough away where he can't hit us. And that it would be a uh, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we just move right here, Full steam ahead, Captain. we can hit him with the big gun and then use our other guns to destroy these guys. Oh, damn it. With that much fire, Trying to attack. We can sink the whole country. All right, so did a bit of damage to him a little bit. Uh, it wasn't too, too significant, but it was helpful. Uh, so let's go and try and get these guys destroyed. We'll destroy them in order of how close they are to getting to Port Moresby. And there we go. There's only two left now. So our submarines, uh, we're going to want to use those to take to take the uh, heavy cruiser down a notch. Where is our... Here he is. Oh, he's almost out of torpedoes, I think. He has two left. Yeah. All right, so let's move him over here. Surprise! Surprise. Got him. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and just scout with this guy. Just identify them, I suppose. And then let's hit him again. Your ship is out of ammunition. So he's out of torpedoes now. So he would need to go back to supply. All right, so almost got him destroyed. Um, we'll probably use torpedo bombers to do that. He does have anti-aircraft guns though, so that's something to consider. And there's an allied uh, plane above there, so we can't attack him that way. Uh, we could use a destroyer uh, torpedo, though I think he would proceed to attack us. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do it that way then. Alright, I'm trying to find ways where I can attack him without getting hit, because we do have to repair all this damn damage, guys. Uh, all this has to be repaired. Alright, what do we have left for planes that can actually attack right now? So we have our uh, torpedo bomber, uh, which we could make use of. And I think we will go ahead and use him here. Let's not exceed our range. Uh, the sound of he did fire on us, it's fine. Is soothing in a way. And we didn't do any damage to him. Alright, that's fine. We have the dive bomber here that won't be able to land on him. Uh, and we'll probably just make use of him over here then. In time, you begin to see the beauty of falling bombs. And we did no damage to him. Okay, that's unfortunate. And then we have this dive bomber, uh, which could bomb him, but yeah, he's a core unit, so we won't. Let's do damage to him, I guess. Yeah, they're not doing much damage. Uh, not much at all. We reach for the stars. All right, let's take a look and see how we want to do this. So I want to get these two ships taken out. We still have to get them taken out, and I prefer to do it this turn, we uh, if we can. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if we're able to do it. Uh, we have the destroyer here, uh, so he might be able to pull it out. It's kind of looking the most effective way of doing this. Uh, the Wildcat does need to come back, so we'll go ahead and get him going onto the carrier. <laughs> Was that a barrel roll? Enemies are high. <laughs> we are high. Where's, where's this Wildcat at? Is that the one we just put on there? Yeah, that might be the one we just put on there. He could always attempt to attack them to do a little bit more damage here. Do not hold that. Why am I even saying this? And shit, maybe we'll be able to take him out with the planes. We I don't know. High in the sky. We'll try. Oh, we really we're almost out of space to land on too, and they're just not doing. Uh, they're just not doing any damage. We do have one more wildcat though uh, that we could make use of. So yeah, why not? 
teach them manners. And I think all of the planes have moved now, and so now it's up to our ships. So we currently have a. Uh, we got the heavy cruiser. We have the two Yorktown carriers, and we have the destroyers. Uh, so this guy can't attack any of them. Uh, so yeah, that's not really an option. Let me just see here. I might have had the wrong. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, we can. So we might want to use him for that. Yeah, let's use him because. We don't want him taking damage because yeah, he's probably die. Now we there we go. Excellent. So he was able to destroy him. He could fire on him as well. So we might do that if uh, we need to. If um, once he, he's already done all his firing. Uh, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and use the we'll use the heavy cruiser. I guess uh, I don't know who else would would do this for us. They just kind of fire across at each other. Now we do need to take him out as well, though. Let me just see here how the best way to do this. Let's fire on him. Oh, I forgot he gets torpedoes. All right. Just kind of share the love with our, our ammunition here. All right, so we got him ticked down, but yeah, we might not be able to do it this turn, guys. I don't know. I don't know that we're gonna be able to get it done if we wanted to like destroy him. Um, can he fire anymore? Let's just take a look. Uh, he can fire one more time. Okay, and I don't do think we, we have any more. Yeah, nothing for the heavy cruiser to do. So whoever does this uh, first attack is going to have to take when you have to take the brunt of the attack of the heavy cruiser. Uh, so who do we want to do that, basically? We don't want to use a core, a core unit, of course. I don't think that'd be wise. And we might not be able to do it this turn, guys. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to do it this turn. If I want to destroy all these units, I mean. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of a shame. Yeah, he's already moved as well. Let's do it. He didn't see us. He didn't really do much damage. It's okay. And that should destroy him. There we go. So we've at least got the destroyer knocked out. So we don't have to worry about him anymore. So we still have this carrier here, um, but yeah, he's not gonna, we're not gonna want to attack that uh, with the carrier. I suppose we're gonna do it with the destroyer, guys. Yeah, that'd probably be the wisest thing to do. He's got the highest health. If we absolutely feel like we have to have to do this, I don't think we'll be able to destroy him. Though. I just absorbed it anyway, but we could use our torpedoes on him. I'm gonna try, guys. Yes, yeah, so the main gun doesn't do anything, so let's just fire, fire at him with the main gun, and then let's try our torpedoes. Take them out. And we did a little bit of damage, not a significant amount though. So he can't fire back, so we will go ahead and fire on him, even though it's probably not going to do anything. Yeah, it's just absorbing it, uh, unfortunately. Can't we just stay away and launch plane? So we have destroyed all the troops, but if we really wanted to destroy that, congratulations on the first victory. You proved to be an outstanding strategist and a strong-willed commander. Your decisive actions, in the spirit of the best naval traditions, made all right. So we can finish the operation now, but we get more prestige if we destroy that heavy cruiser. Um, so yeah, if you look at your your losses here, you know, you lose prestige for any losses that you take. Um, but, and we've lost one tactical bomber and one reconnaissance plane, and that's a little bit of prestige, not much. much. Um, but you also get prestige for every, for all the units that you destroy. So you can see here we're getting prestige for, you know, destroying those fighters. We didn't get any for destroying the, the troops though, probably because they were in convoys, I guess. For destroying the uh, tactical bombers, we got it for destroying those carriers, the escort ships, so on and so on. So this would actually be a really good idea to, to get them destroyed if we can. I mean, if it's one more turn, does that hit us? Let me just take a look at what the cost would be if that's, I think it's up here you click on. Let me just see, I don't know. I think it's just as long as you do it before you run out of turns, I wanna say you're okay. Number of victory points you have at the beginning. Yeah, I don't think and end, not ending the turn would, or excuse me, I don't think ending the turn and going to the next one would cost us anything. Yeah, I don't think so, guys. 
I'm pretty sure we could, uh, so you know what, we will. Let's go ahead and return to the game, and I'm gonna try and destroy him. Uh, we've got him so close. Um, we keep I don't think we have anything that can attack right now. Uh, though we could attack with a, uh, yeah, that's kind of risky, because he could also end up, and I don't think he can do anything to him. Yeah, they just absorb any of the damage that I try and do to him. But we could attempt to do, I think we're going to. God, it's risky though. It's so risky. And his uh, his gun's not even close to being damaged. I mean, if we lose this destroyer, yeah, it wouldn't be worth it. Let's pull him back. Seeking out the enemy. We're not gonna be able to do it this turn, so it's irrelevant. <laughs> do we get to blow up? Leave him enemies? there, and yeah, we're gonna go. Let's go and enter turn. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and destroy him. And so we just go through these because that's the only thing left to destroy, and we'll see if it's worth it. If uh, this was was worth it, how much prestige we exactly we get for this? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get our. I think we can actually attack with the big gun from here and not be attacked back. That ship is about to disappear. And that might destroy him. There we go. A big bang. All the enemy ships are destroyed. So if we now took a look at this. Uh, and see what we got from destroying the capital ship here. Get 100 prestige. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, and the award that we got was the Grand Cross of the Order of George I, 2 plus air defense to the HQ unit granted by Greek government in exile. So yeah, I think that this is it. I don't think there's any units left to, to kill, so let's go ahead and uh, return to game. Though I am curious why um, we, we still had 375 of 400, but let's go ahead and end it. Finish operation. Mr. President, I have great news for you, sir. Go ahead, Ernest. Mr. President, we have prevented the Japanese from completing their plan to occupy Port Moresby, sir. The Japs will not show up there again. The Australian region is now safe. Congratulations. Our first major battle with the Japanese, where we have been victorious. Our new commander-in-chief of the Pacific Fleet, Chester Nimitz, has proven that our trust in him was well-placed. Sorry for all the cars, guys. I didn't want to mute the mic because uh, it's it's a button. <laughs> I didn't want to click on it. All right, so, um, so yeah, I, I, we're done with the uh, first scenario. And this video was extremely long. <laughs> Oh God! So I, I think what we're gonna have to do, guys, these campaigns are these scenarios are just so ridiculous long. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to split them up uh, into multiple videos. I guess it's fine having this really long one for the first one, but man, this is gonna take forever to upload, uh, forever to render, forever to do everything essentially. So uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna be splitting them up. Uh, the the next uh, the next campaign will be split up into multiple videos, uh, so that because yeah, this is this is uh, these uh, the videos can't be this long. It's way too long to be <laughs> recording two hours of videos and trying to get them up onto YouTube. So yeah, from here on out, guys, there'll be shorter videos. Uh, still probably long, just because of the nature of this game and the really long uh, scenarios. I don't want to split a scenario into five, six videos. You know what I mean? So they'll still be longer videos, but they won't be this long. Um, so. Basically what happens from here, uh, once you've knocked out that first scenario, is you then uh, spend your prestige, uh, you spend, you can uh, upgrade your uh, admiral as well, uh, you know, give them new HQ skills and stuff, and this is all stuff that we're going to be doing in the next step, so guys, I just want to kind of give you a uh, general look. Uh, we can upgrade our, our units as well. We might have been able to upgrade those in a battle. I wasn't really paying attention to seeing if they had the little upgrade uh, there. So we can give them new upgrades, you know, level them up and stuff, uh, give them some level ups, change out their equipment. Uh, probably can't get any heroes yet because you do have to like fulfill little objectives here to get those done. Uh, you can change change your ships up and uh, also buy new core units. Uh, so, you know, new uh, carriers and new battleships, you know, destroyers, submarines, fighters, tactical bombers, so on. Can't get any troops though yet, not yet, uh, but can a little bit later. But yeah, that's going to be it for this first episode, this first really long episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it, though, at the, this first look at Strategic Mine, the Pacific. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. 
Uh, if you are looking for any links, check down the description of any of our videos. You'll find links to our uh, Twitter, our Facebook, you know, all of our social media, to our Patreon and PayPal if you'd like to support the channel, as well as a link to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. If you're looking for any other videos to watch, then check out our front page. You'll find uh, all of our videos sorted by genre. Should be able to find something that you, you'd enjoy. Uh, I've got a ton of strategy on the channel. And, uh, yeah, it's like 2,000-something videos. So, again, you should be able to find something that you'd enjoy watching as you wait for the next episode. These uh, videos are going to be a little bit more spread out than my typical videos where I do, like, everyday uh, videos just because, of, again, the nature of it. Um, yeah, I don't know that there will be a video every single day. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how I can do it, guys. Um, because, yeah, this is... Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit different uh, format from, you know, when we play Hearts of Iron 4 or Crusader Kings or something like that. Uh, so... I do hope to see you on the next episode, which I'd like to have for Sunday. That'd be the plan. We're definitely not going to have one on Saturday. Um, but yeah, I'd like to have an episode for Sunday. So I uh, hope to see you on that episode. And thanks for watching, guys.